for book one, proposition number 30 of Euclid's Elements, straight lines parallel to the same straight line are parallel to one another. So if we start with these three straight lines, A, B, E, F, and C, D, and we have some transversal that cuts across them, and we know that the line AB is parallel to the line EF, and we also know that the line CD is parallel to the line EF, what we want to prove is that the line AB and CD are parallel to each other. And to start this proof, we need to use book one proposition number 29, which says that alternate angles are equal to each other. So since AB and EF are parallel, we know that their alternate angles, this angle here and this angle here, are equal to each other. So the angle AGH is equal to the angle GHF. And we can again use this book one proposition number 29. But this proposition also says that the exterior angle is equal to the interior and opposite angle. So if we focus on the lines EF and CD now, the exterior angle here would be equal to the interior opposite angle here. So angle GHF is equal to angle HKD. And due to common notion number one, we know that things which are equal to the same thing are equal to each other. And since this AGH is equal to GHF and GHF is equal to HKD, that means that this AGH must equal a angle HKD. So angle AGH must equal angle HKD. And notice, when we look at the lines A, B, and C, D, that the angle A, G, H, and H, K, D, those are alternate angles. And since they're equal, they prove that the lines A, B, and C, D are parallel due to book one, proposition number 27. So now we know that A, B, the line, is parallel to the line C, D, and that is exactly what we were trying to prove so we end with Q, E, D.